Hey guys, Dan here. And so, <laughs> it seems like all my videos start out with that. Hey guys, Dan here. And so today, um, PowerSmart sent me this uh, chipper, right? It's a, it's a chipper. It's a uh, electric chipper shredder. It's a PS10 electric chipper shredder. And so you could go as big as one and five eighth inch branches in here. And the problem I have with doing a demonstration slash review video on this machine is I don't usually have anything that big. Um, so I was like, I don't know what to do with this. So I went around my yard and I, I found some twigs and I, I, got, I got a palm tree seed pod part. And well, we're just gonna try. And I'm gonna give you guys a general understanding of whether or not this thing is actually kind of worth a damn. Now, how much does it cost? I don't know. Is it available yet? No, I don't know. You're gonna have to check the video description and, and check on the links yourself and do some research for your area to see if it's even available. But like I said, it is a PS10 electric chipper shredder by PowerSmart. That's what the PS stands for, PowerSmart 10. Um, and like most of their equipment, it tells you right on here, nice and big, that if, if you have a warranty issue, you got to put it back in the box. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to assemble this thing and um, see what it's going to take to assemble it and do a quick little demo just for the heck of it. So that's what we're going to do. I have no idea what it's going to take to put this thing together but it sure does look like there's a lot of pieces. This kind of looks like a shover inner type thing. Um, I don't know, okay. So maybe we'll shred the box. Here's some wheels. And this is gonna be a long process for you and me, because I've never assembled a uh, electric shredder before. So, yep, not exactly sure what to do, how to do it. I'm hoping most of it's already assembled. It does have wheels, so it is portable, and it looks like they're gonna snap in kind of easily. So I'm really hoping that this isn't too labor intensive. So, there's a bag. Um, not exactly sure what the bag is for. If you drink enough, she doesn't need a bag. She'll be pretty fine just the way she is. <laughs> okay. We'll just pretend that never happened. So here is an Allen wrench. Here is some assembly instructions. Here is some S-clips. So this is going to be interesting. Here's a picture that we get to go off of. So I usually assemble by picture. It's usually what I do. So we'll just have to see how that works out. One moment, please. There's some hardware in here. So here is some hardware that does actually use this tool. And then there's actually two small Phillips head screws um, and two washers. So that's gonna be interesting in and of itself. Black S-clip tool. Um, uh, uh, uh. And two of those uhs, two of those uhs. So I wonder if those go in here. Oh, I think, oh, sucka sucka. Looks like we might be getting somewhere. I don't know, we'll see. We'll just, you know what? No, we'll just put the trash here. I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of neat to have a chipper. You know, we, we don't, we're not gonna be able to do too much of a demo today because I just don't really have anything for it. I'm not very prepared. Um, but it's worth a try anyways, um, worth a shot, I should say. So it looks like it goes this way. And then here's the part the, the chipper goes into. So right here is the part where you put the trees and stuff, the branches. So that's kind of cool. Um, all right. And I'm not really sure this is a lock and an unlock for some reason. Here's your on and off. Here's your handy dandy hurdy dirty power cord right there so you just can discard that okay so this model is 110 
Okay, here is a nice little stand. Oh, there's the axle right there. So this is gonna be the axle. Here is the uh, framework, if you will. I don't know. So this is a true um, unbox and assemble video because uh, I've never done this myself, personally. So quite interesting. Um, yep, so we'll see how it goes. All right, and looks like that's everything. So, all right, so using the box as a reference, it looks like this is gonna go this way. This is gonna go the opposite way. So like this. So that's gonna go like that. And then it's gonna stand up, okay? It's got screw here and a screw here. So that tells me that that's where these two little screws go. Okay, so remember, it comes with two big screws, two Allen head screws that are just square. And then you got these two right here that takes Phillips head, which I don't have with me. And then you have these obviously gonna probably go probably like that with the big washer that it comes with. So, um, but these are gonna go here, right here where this was, that's gonna go here. That's gonna keep the legs from falling out. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory right there. We'll put those back here for now. I'm gonna have to go get a Phillips head screwdriver, okay. Um, and then the wheels, the wheels and the axle, okay, I don't know about all that. Yeah, it's got to, it's got to do that, right? So you're going to have this like this, can you see? Okay, so you have your axle right here, like this and like this, all right? So I guess it's going to go like this, maybe? Uh, not really sure. Is that threaded by any chance? And then you have this. Does this go into the end of the axle? It does. Okay, so that's what this does. All right. So I'm figuring this out with you. So you have your axle here. You have this piece that came. All right. This piece right here is going to go up against the metal frame right here. You got a metal frame right here okay so you're going to take this axle slide it through the hole all right then you're going to take this piece and you're going to put the beveled edge to where it lines up against the frame like this all right then you're going to take the wheel and you're going to actually need to pop off this hubcap it's too bad they put this pub this hubcap in the way is it unscrew no you have to pop off this hubcap and then you're going to take the allen head with a washer you're going to slide this on and with the hubcap removed you're going to screw this together then you're going to pop your hubcap back on and it's assembled so let me go get a screwdriver and uh, a phillips head screwdriver and a flat tip screwdriver and we should be ready well, i'm trying to put the screws into these little legs right here and they don't really want to line up and go in and they're pretty cheap screw heads and they're just stripping out rounding out so you might end up having to put your own sheet metal screws right here go to the hardware store if you don't have them on you but if you're any bit worth of a man you should have some anyways uh but yeah so that's kind of a fail that's just garbage hot garbage all right, so we have this. So we have this wheel right here, okay? And we're gonna wanna take a flat tip screwdriver and you're gonna wanna come in from the back side and just push that out, get that little red cap off. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take that big Allen head bolt that they gave you and one of them flat washers 
and you're going to line it up on the outside of this wheel, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to line it up with the axle and you're going to put that plate on it or that little piece on it. And I'll show you again, but I could do this one on its own right here for you. So we're going to put this on and they give you the tool to do it with. So just tighten this down if you can hold it. So you have to like hold this with your hand and tighten this down. Okay. Snug that down some. All right. And then, so that's how you do it, right? See how the nut, the, the bolt and the washers right there on the end, the adapters right here and your axle. Okay. So you're going to go through like this and like this, right? You're going to take that adapter and you're going to put that adapter right here, okay? Then you got that bolt and the washer. You're going to get ready with that. You're going to pop off the hubcap cover. It's real simple. Just give it a little, a little push. It comes right off. You're going to slide the wheel on to that adapter and then you're going to thread your that bolt and washer into the end of the axle. Okay. Now once you have that on there, you can take your number one Phillips head screwdriver and stick it in the hole of this axle right here. It's actually a hole right here. Just drop it there. Take your handy dandy hurdy gurdy little Allen key screw that or a tool that they give you and you can hold the screwdriver now and you can tighten everything up and the axle won't spin because you got the hole right there okay there you go and then because i didn't do it on this wheel i'll tighten this one too so there's that, that. Now I'm not sure what this is for. No idea, honestly. All right, so now you got your little wheels right here. This is a debris bag, actually. And so this is gonna go underneath here and it just hooks onto these hooks. And so as you're chipping away, it'll fill the bag with your debris and you can take this off and carry your debris out. We're not going to use the debris bag because I want you guys to see the debris. Um, this is like I said a pusher so you can push the material down I assume so and what this is for I have no clue. I uh, don't know yet. Okay so this goes here like that So that's that. I guess so you don't lose it. Let's just go put this thing in the yard and chip something. So we got it plugged in. Nice heavy duty extension cord because you don't want to overheat your extension cord. Sorry I'm not in the view, but who cares about me? Anyway, so here we go. This is what's called the prodder. So that's to like push stuff in, I guess. Whatever. Um, we'll fire it up. Remember, I should have the bag on. I should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. Oh, here we go.
just make a nice little mulch. This is hardwood. This will probably break it. I'm not gonna lie, this is fun. Now I want to go around and find more stuff. I got the wife's roses. God, enough of that. Made some mulch. Now, if you had that bag, you could take that bag and go spread mulch out around your property if you want, you know, depending on what you're doing, whatever. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> it's more about the fun. That was fun. I've never used a chipper before, ever in my life. 52 years old. I know, I know what you're thinking. Dan, you don't look a day over 51. I know. But I am 52, and I've never used a chipper. And that was some serious freaking fun. All right, so, ta-da! That's the PowerSmart PS10 electric chipper. Again, it's good up to an inch and five-eighths uh, diameter branches. So, you know, you're not going to be cutting down oak trees in your backyard and chipping it with this. But if you got something and you want to make some mulch or, you know, you just want to clean stuff up, you just want to have some fun or you just want to do less trips, you know, from your backyard to the dump or maybe you don't have a way like the county comes and picks up, whatever, whatever the case may be, if you could use a chipper, then give this one a shot. We just used it. It worked pretty good. And it made some pretty good mulch. Now, we did stick some palm tree type material in there and, you know, that's a very fibrous material, not good for chippers, but who cares? We did it anyways because, well, that's what we do. We're just dumb. We didn't wear glasses or gloves. Um, well, I wore glasses, but not safety glasses. Uh, but that's just the way it is. So make yourself some mulch, have some fun. I don't know. Anyways, the PowerSmart PS10 electric chipper. Check it out. Links in the video description. Peace.